So hi, it's me. show the whole process of doing my hair. I had put this in here because my puff bar was just too puffy. But we finna take it down, we finna braid. And yeah, we gonna put this wig in and yeah, we just finna show everybody like, you know, the steps. Okay. My hair got um edges down because I had slipped it back. Cause I had class. So we can just comb it out. The edges is like glued down to my forehead. I don't care if my parts don't be straight. So we just gonna. Do you know how to write? No, <laughs> but like I a little bit. I braid the next one. You can braid this one. Yeah. Josh, you wanna braid it? Um, I'm braiding my hair. I have to do it. I really can make practice. My hair just soften. Oh gosh. It's, let me see. What? Look at what? It's not coming out well, guys. Why can I breathe? Like, am I even black? Is you gripping it? How are you doing it? <laughs> like, look what she did. Jocelyn, what is ah! this? Look, what? You didn't even grab the hair right here. It is grab. You see how I All right, you right. Grab, you didn't it. even grab. I was going to let it stay, but it's like, I can't let that one stay. I'm sorry. I want some my nails. I feel like I got this style, this style already. I just um, redid it. Like, it is. I have 15 questions. They're not like major questions. But they like some simple, easy questions that I had made up. So answer it and then do my hair at the same time. Well, I'm from Atlanta. I'm from, I grew up um, on Bankhead, but a lot of people try to say like I'm not from there, but I really am. Like that's where um, Grove Park and stuff was. Like, you know. People who know, know, but if you don't, you don't, like, you know? Yes, is my all and my on my team. It's gonna be 20 this year in like six more months. Yeah, I just feel like that I'm grown and I just feel like um everybody is just some young kids, except me. I'm gonna be so tired. Oh, I'm already tired. It's a workout. Okay, next question is, well, um, what college I attend? If y'all hear people laughing, it's because my window open and they just talk really, really loud for no reason. And I'm trying to talk about y'all, I mean, no already because my window coming through. See, stuck so loud. He just talking too much and it's really making me, you know, very, very, very upset. I'll attend this university. Do what I like in school. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's decent. It's like, it's all right. But I'm only here because of like friends I made. But other than that, I don't really think I would have chosen this school just to go to just to go to. Yeah, I wouldn't choose this college to um to just come to. I came to play basketball, but I stopped playing basketball. So now I'm just here. I just work after my classes. And um that's it, work, school. Repeat. Whew. Okay, I got it down a little bit. Don't mind this. I ain't even. It, I really don't care about that. To be honest, I really don't. Oh my god, that is so tiring. Every time I do my hair, my hands be tired. There's just too much to do. To be real. All right, so I'm gonna oil my hair with this um this oil right here, and then 
This is my first time we've been starting a wig, wig for real, for real. Like I did it on my sister, but I never did it for myself. So, I don't know how it's going to turn out on my sister. But I did it like I did my sister wig. It came out good, to be honest. But this is my wig. Y'all can see. It's 28 inches from um Amazon. They already came with wood cups, so I don't have to, I don't have to buy one. Which is Take the got to be in this way. I cut a little hole and then put my ear in between. Cause I got on two. Okay, y'all. So I'm back and I got everything that I need. Okay, so we're gonna start this shit back over. My wig is right here. I'm gonna hang it up behind me, but I'm gonna put it on the paper towel because this whole bathroom, the whole bathroom is just this Okay, so I gel my edges back. I think I'm gonna get the other wig cap because my edge is not gel back for real, for real. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna gel them back some more. And I'm gonna get that other wig cap. And that's gonna be the last time I eat. Because that's the only wig cap I got. And after that one, I don't have one. So. Foundation, and I'm gonna just, you know, get it in my head. It's tacky right here, so I'm just gonna cut the lace. Not the lace, but the wet cap. Y'all, if this this wig don't come out right, I'm gonna be so. Man. I don't know what the f I'm doing to be honest with you, girl. So far, everything looks flat. Because I know for sure it's supposed to look flat. So, so far, everything looks flat. My camera, I do look a little um, long side, but it's kind of like okay. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not tripping. I'm using both of them. Girl, I don't know, it came with the wig. So I'm just gonna use it because it came with the wig. You didn't push it back? No, I did. No, you did not. Yes, I did. You push it? Okay. It's not gonna hurt nobody. I don't see it anymore. Hold it back. You're gonna. 
to do. I feel like you asked me more questions. I told y'all I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing them because I can't remember them. And I'm trying to do focus on my hair. Yeah, I'm for real over here struggling. Okay, so I need to put some more um makeup. Then we're gonna cover the um pocket here one more time. I already put the um glue. The glue powder I already gonna dry out, but I'm not putting no more. I'm gonna spray some got to be. I'm keeping it on for an hour or like 30 minutes. I make sure you can get out everything and grab everything. So I'm gonna let this stay on for um, 30 minutes. I gotta open it up, y'all. And then I'm gonna come back when 30 minutes over and um, we're gonna finish the QA and we're gonna finish doing the wig because I just really took to, I just really stopped doing the QA, but I just feel like this is gonna be a perfect time doing the QA because I'm doing the wig. Yeah, so I'm back. What question? Um, I really forgot what question we on in the QA, but we're gonna see. Okay, I think I was on what do I like about myself? I think I told y'all, I think it was on um, that I gave good advice. And um, my earring just came out. But I think it was just I give good advice and that um, I like just being to myself. Being to yourself is good. So I'm gonna take this down. Keep it on. I don't know how long I kept this on. How like 20, 15 minutes? Let's stay down. Her. Mm-hmm. Next question is, uh, I think I had the relationship status. I'm single, but like you know, I have my person. You know, y'all gotta read. I gotta read. Um, title. This title gotta sit down. Greatest accomplishment. My greatest accomplishment was probably, for sure, graduating um, high school. Because my junior year was COVID, so like. The class before me didn't experience um, walking across the stage, and that's what something like I really, really, really wanted to like accomplish. Like, I really just didn't want um, COVID to like make us not be able to walk across the stage. Another one I could say is um, playing sports. Playing sports really was a big accomplishment for me because I achieved awards for all my sports that I played, which was like volleyball, volleyball bas and basketball. I played two sports. Even with track, I had got a little medal. But with track, I didn't really do nothing for real, but um, I did track one year. I got a little medal just for participating in sport. So y'all see how they got like a little white line? And this side it don't, so I'm gonna fix this side. That's something that I, I will always be happy about. I will always um, have something to tell, like to show my kids, like I have trophies. My mama, you know, for my mama to be proud of me, like you know. I can put it back on my head again, cause I swear it got to be. Yo, know, I'm sorry this be all jumpy, but it shouldn't be jumpy. It should be good. If I um introduce y'all, like do my little green. Hi, welcome to my YouTube. Okay, next question is what's on my bucket my bucket list? Um I think I'm feeling the side part of this for some reason. Oh no, I never do side parts, but I think I'm feeling one. And I can always change it. But I think I'm feeling a side part. I don't think I'm feeling it. Okay, but on my bucket list, I want to do. What do I want to do? I want to go to Bora Bora. Like I want to go to the country. Um, I want to skydive. What else I want to do? Um, I want to go to Colorado to do like the little skin thingy. That's all I think of right now. But I tell that a lot more. So, what do I do if I'm feeling down? If I'm feeling down, I just, I don't like 
being in the house, I like just going out and get stuff like off my mind. Like either drive or listen to music. Drive and listen to music. Just doing something. Because if you just sit there and just be sad, you just making yourself sad for like no reason. So like just gotta do stuff to get your mind off of it. It'll make you feel way better than just sitting here and being sad. The greatest challenge um, I faced was probably losing my grandparents at like a young age. Because when you older, you really need your grand grandparents. And, like, I was close with my grandparents, so it was like every morning I'm at, I'm at their house for school. And then he built like, he was so family oriented. He always wanted everybody to stay together, live together. He built the house for us. So it's like, my grandmother passed. It was kind of hard for me because I, I lost my grandparents. And like, I feel like I'm happy that I lost them. We're not happy, but like, I feel like it's better me losing them when I was younger than now because it would hit me way much harder if I was this age right now and losing them at this time. One thing I couldn't go a day without. Um, I would say it's not my phone. It would probably be on my iPad. Cause like, uh, well, I, I don't really be on my phone like that. I don't be on my phone like I'm on Instagram or um, I'm on the phone, but. My phone is not really that addicting. It just, I use it when like I'm bored. Like, don't shit else. There will be nothing else to do. I, I love my iPad, so it's probably my iPad. Ah! I just burnt myself. What do I um, enjoy spending money on? It probably, I don't really like spending my money. I'm very cheap with my money, like, to be real for real. If I notice I haven't bought me a lot of stuff, I, pay, I buy me stuff. But then once I bought me something, I'll stop because I just, I just don't like spend my money. I'll get my hair done, put on my nails, lashes, and stuff. And after I do that, I'll probably just don't like that for real. So like, um, a long time. I just like saving. I like just acting like I don't have any money so I can just stack up and wake up and have a million dollars. That's just really all I'm doing right now. I'm gonna flat my hair. So I already put the lace and stuff down. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take the band off until I'm done flat on my hair. What does my average uh, weekend look like? To be honest, I remember doing the on weekends for real. Um, yeah, so my average weekend is really just me in the house, me not doing anything, me just. Yeah, I don't do anything. I'm, I'm trying to make up a story, but it's like come to my head. Oh, my longest friendship was my friend Destiny. It's not was, but we're still friends. We've been friends ever since middle school. That's the longest I've ever been friends with anybody. And to be honest, we're just like two of the same people. We're just the best being in the world. You feel me? Sir? No. What made me start YouTube and why did I stop? Um, okay, I've been doing, I've been always wanting to do YouTube since I was a little kid, like, I, okay, I used to record myself when I was a little kid, like, off my laptop, and, um, I used to just, like, make a YouTube channel, record, and then call myself Illy, y'all remember, like, I don't know what it's called, but it was, um, like, this little app on the computer that you can use to, um, like any of videos, I can't remember what it called, but it was like on um, Windows 9 or like Windows computers. But I used to use that to um, edit my videos and I used to post it. And back then, I got to talk my tongue real bad. So when I go back and watch videos, I just I, like, I just deleted it. <laughs> and to be honest, I didn't really think like 
people who's gonna subscribe to my channel because I already don't like know a lot of people in real life. And like I don't talk to people in real life, so I'm like I feel like to be honest, I feel like for your channel to really go somewhere for real, you gotta like know people so you can just have like a little base of subscribers. I feel like I'm not a talkative person, I'm not a friendly person, so I feel like a lot of people just probably just don't subscribe. That's why I really just stopped doing it. I always like procrastinate about posting videos because um, I don't think nobody gonna look at my videos fully out. Oh, okay. Look at these bundles. Mm-hmm. 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 I just always want to do it. But I just didn't, didn't get it because of, I was insecure of the way I talk or the way I talk. I just never think nobody would actually sit there and look at it. So, yeah. Question is, um, this is the last question by the way. When did I first feel like an adult? Um, to be honest, I can say two things from two different like aspects. I don't think I don't feel like an adult just yet because I'm still in school. I still have like the normal routine I had when I was growing up, like go to school, come home, do homework, stuff like that. The only difference is I'm in college. So it's like, I'm living by myself, but I'm still going to school. Like I'm still like having homework, but I just don't have, I don't have to pay bills. So like the real adulthood haven't hit me yet. But I know it's gonna hit me as soon as I graduate. It's them that is gonna for sure hit me. But right now, it haven't hit me. Y'all see it? Amazon is coming in clutch. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I also feel like I'm a real, real adult and I have to take my niece and nephews to the freaking doctor's appointment. Like when I first got my car, the room was over where I was go, I was go, I was taking them everywhere. My little niece always want to go with me. Money always want to go work somewhere with me. I'm always taking her somewhere because nobody else going to take her but me because I feel like she's a kid. She's going to want stuff. So, you know, you got to do what the kids say to you. I think when you're a parent, you should just do what the, kid, the, the kids say, to be honest. I mean, at a certain point, like, not like all the time, but like, if they feel like, they want to go back to the park or something. Take them to the park, you know, like, let them live their life. They can be a kid at one time. of the video i hope y'all like this video if you did make sure you guys comment like and subscribe to my channel check out my last video which was my um valentine's day video that was my first video that I actually uploaded to youtube stay tuned i got more videos coming on the world please install and i just think it's real real cute amazon came in clutch with the bundles I don't know um, 
the grab of hair I got is in my room. I don't know where it's at. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.